going on internet this is another video i'm going to do really quick uh wasn't planning on doing this video but i actually saw this thing on facebook the other day and i got thinking about it you know i'm going ahead and i'm going to do this video really quick it's just my opinions on what i would do if i was a washer Redskins owner i bought the team today if i bought it today what would i do okay so here's the first thing i do first thing i do is i'd call two people in my office and fire them today first person be uh bruce allen he has not been a good executive i don't think he's been horrible but the way he's handled Trent Williams, the way he's handled a few things, I, I, I don't like him. I, I think he's a snake in the grass. Um, for some reason, I don't think he's ever held accountable for what he does. For some reason, it's Doug Williams' fault, or he's just he doesn't like he doesn't really um, doesn't really answer for what he does. If that, if that makes sense. Thanks for signaling. Um, he doesn't really answer for what he does. So I would fire uh, Bruce Allen. Not to mention, I think a lot of the fan base would be extremely ecstatic about that. Um, the second thing I would do is I would call in Greg Minuski and I would fire Greg Minuski. Um, Greg Minuski, after the defensive performance that I saw this weekend, um, he would have to come into my office and explain why he needs to keep his job. He brought zero pressure. He couldn't get off the field on third downs. Um, if there was miscommunication on the field, that still comes from him. Um, everyone keeps blaming Jake Gruden. Uh, I would pull Jay Gruden in the office and tell him, hey, I, I support you, Jay Gruden, because I, Jay Gruden, you're missing um, almost 25% of your salary right now, and you're still putting a competitive team on the field. He's missing Trent Williams, with his, which is about $15 million. He's missing Colt McCoy, which is $3 million. And he's also missing um, uh, he's missing Alex Smith, which is another $21.2 million. And he also played the game with Jordan Reed, who's another $8 million. So that's over, that's almost 30% of his salary he's playing with. And he went toe to toe with the Super Bowl champ and, and was beating them for most of the game. Um, but his defense couldn't get off the field. And the defense, other than one player you know, getting his knee hurt, um, the defense is playing at pretty much full strength. Um, you can say Ruben, Ruben Foster's out. The reason why they didn't get off the field was because of Ruben Foster, because they didn't bring any pressure on third down, so on and so forth. So that's the first thing I would do. So that would, that would fix the coaching problem. Second thing I would do is I would call up Rex Ryan. Um, his brother's on our on our um, coaching staff. I will call up Rex Ryan and give him whatever he wants to be the defensive coordinator. Rex Ryan will bring pressure. He'll make sure guys man up, and he'll make sure that on third and 15, a quarterback who is mobile will get rid of the ball quick, so that we can he'll get like a three yard out or something, and we 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 rely on our tackling ability and our pursuit to stop them from getting the play, not our coverage ability. It's 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 more unlikely to it's more likely to tackle when the ball's done short. And the guy run for it, and the guy then throw the ball there and rely on one big, uh, a big play to convert. So I, I think that's what I would do. Rex Ryan is the king of bringing pressure, even when he doesn't have talent. I think we do have a lot of talent on our defense. Third thing I would do is I would bring the Redskins back to RFK Stadium, whether that's through renovation, whether that's through tearing it down and rebuilding it. I would bring the Washington Redskins back to Washington D.C. Sorry, there's something in my left eye. There we go, it's sleepy. Um, so that's the second. That's the fourth thing I would do. Um, but next thing I would do is I would trade in a heartbeat. I would trade Trent Williams. Trent Williams. Uh, I would trade him if I can get a first round pick for it. I would take it. Anything more than that is just great. Oh, he's on top of the game. I would take a fourth round, or a first round pick, or I would even take a second round pick at this point. Here's why: Trent Williams, even if he comes back and plays this year, okay, he could get injured again, and then we have no trade value for him. So he's not valuable to us when he's on our bench or when he's injured. He's valuable to us right now when he has the, the ability to play and he could he could be traded. That's why I want to fire Bruce Allen. Trade Trent Williams. We, we just proved that we are okay without him. We can do okay without him. Trade him, get a first and maybe a third. I'd be happy with a first and a fourth or a third. Um, if we can get the house for him, thank God. Okay, but right now we're not going to, he's not doing anything for us other than taking up salary cap and costing us, you know, potentially wins. Get rid of him. Get something back for him, and let's move on with the Washington Redskins. It's been a distraction all offseason that Trent Williams has not been in the locker room. So trade him. Let's say, let's say hypothetic, we get a first and a third. Fantastic. Guess what we're going to do in the first round this year? We're going to draft a defensive or an offensive tackle and replace him. Okay, that's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do this year. We're going to draft an offensive tackle, replace Trent Williams. We have a guy for the next four or five years. That we can pair up with, uh, and, and, we, and that extra money we would save by getting rid of him, we would also sign Brandon Sheriff. So we'd lock up our, our best offensive lineman. We have a young, 
center. We have young guards. We Eric Flowers has actually not been horrible. Um, so if our young guards pan out, maybe we can move Eric Flowers to replace Morgan Moses. Because honestly, the left side of the offensive line did not look bad this week. And that was the, the most um, – uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? That was the one everyone was concerned about. That was the most concerning. Let me rephrase that. That was the one everyone was concerned about was the left side of our offensive line. And since the left side of the offensive line didn't do bad against Philly, and Philly's a very good team, um, stands to reason that you know we don't have to. We can do without Trent Williams. Would it be nice to have him? Sure. Because if we came back today and we didn't trade him, we can move him to the right uh, to the right tackle and put Morgan Moses' ass on the bench or get rid of him. I can't stand Morgan Moses. I'm not going to get into that in this video. Um, but those are the things that I would do as the um, as the head coach. I think we are doing very good at drafting for the most part. I think we are doing very good at pre, uh, developing players. I would also fire the entire training staff. The entire training staff. I would get in guys that I trust to make sure our players are healthy. Not to make sure our players are playing every Sunday. To make sure our players are healthy. That is what's important. I'm sorry. If we're trying to make sure that they're healthy enough to be able to, to um, limp onto a football field, that's not enough for me. Make sure our players are healthy. Make sure Darius Geis is fully healed when he comes back. Make sure guys are healthy when before you clear them to play football. I'm sorry. The Washington Redskins have had a lot of injuries. So I think they're trying to uh, subvert like protocol and just get guys and put bandages on them and get back on the field. Those days are over. Okay, if you ever watched the Junction Boys, Bear Bryant, um, he had guys literally like bandaged up and thrown back on the football field when they were, they weren't cleared to. He had a guy with a broken back playing football. Like that's not the day and age we're in anymore. And I think that's why Trent Williams has issues. Is I think someone honestly I, the way it reported to me was someone misdiagnosed him, and we they recommended a second opinion. Second opinion, I, I don't want to get into. It's not the point of this video. The point of this video is if I was the owner, what would I do, and how would I fix this team? And those, that is what I would do to fix this team. Move the team back to D.C. Get rid of our defensive coordinator. Hire Rex Ryan. Get rid of our training staff. And going forward, uh, trade Trent Williams and look to the future. All right, that's it. Like, share, subscribe. Help to the residents. See you.